Yeah, that's both sides of the ball. Rock solid tonight. He was really good. I thought uh, he set his defence up really well. Good, really defensive movements. And then got some early rewards down that left side of the Boyd's carry to pass to Luke, to, then out to Latrell for that try it was really nice. And they just created some space for each other. All four of them out there had a, had a really big day. And then, um, But then he got a defensive try on the back end of it just because of his movements. I think I said uh, he shut down the Sun Masters the set before. I think Robbie came back against the grain through a really long ball and that usually can spark an opportunity. Latrell shut it down and then he was in the same position on the next set and ends up running 60 metres to score the try. So I think that's when Latrell's at his best, his balance between both attack and defence and that's why he has a high, high quality game like that. I don't know how many points he scored in the end, but even goal kicking was, was really good. 26. 26, yeah. yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's really rewarding. I think, you know, I got some ask, ask some questions about him yesterday and then um, just about where he's at and how's he going because he mentioned it last week and then um, doesn't train Tuesday and then comes out and, and delivers uh, a high-quality game, high, high-quality game. It looked like it was almost a, a weight off his shoulders. That first try, he really celebrated. It looked like a, a young kid under a bit of pressure. Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. I'd say it's just he's, you know, working hard on his game and, and, and he wants to perform every single week. Um, and I think the weekend off was really good uh, for everyone. And then, um, you know, but he had some layover from the game before. Couldn't train Tuesday and then he, got, he grew. Every day he got better and better. And again, he did what he did. He stays out there last on the training field when he could. On Thursday, kicking his goals, doing all his little preps and um, got his performance. So I thought that was a, not everything was perfect. And then he has a game like that. That's, that shows high quality. Is that as good an individual performance as, as you can remember or as you've seen? Yeah, I, f I feel like we've had different guys stand up at different times. I, I, I don't know where that sits. All I know is that that was, um, a very, very good performance from Luttrell, um, but it's not a ceiling, is what I would say. Yeah, yeah. Look, Greg Alexander said that'd be a ten. That'd be a ten rating in rugby league week. If it was yeah, still around. Yeah, I remember Peter Sterling getting. I remember when yeah, he you got don't that very often. No, if it was uh, yeah, the rugby league week, ten out of ten, it would be. And I think um, that's a Luttrell nine out of ten. He, you know, he's, he's, he's not finished, he's 21. Um, he's a hungry man, so that he'll, he'll decide, but that's, it's a real credit to him scary, to play like that. Scary, scary thought for opposition teams if that's not a 10 from Yeah, job. Yeah, look, I think, um, I'm not trying to downplay how good it was, but I, I just, uh, I know um, it's not up to us to put a ceiling on a guy like that. Yeah. You're saying, what you're saying is he's 21 years old and he can get even better? Yep. Yeah, look, I'm not... Um, I think I won't throw out names because that, that will uh, catch fire, but there's a lot of players in sport around the world that have done things for a long, long time and performed at the high level and people think that it's... Um, quite special and that, that the, the consistency of high level performance and you create new norms, that's, that's what he wants to do. That's what we want him to do and I don't decide that he plays like that. I create a platform with the other coaches and players to allow him to decide where he takes the game. So that's why my job's to keep pushing him higher. Trent, you were asked yesterday, there has been a bit of speculation about his future beyond 2020. Yep. How do you manage that now moving forward? Because performances like that is only going to sort of spark more interest. To be honest, I, I honestly don't give it air. Like I don't really concern myself about it because it's not something that um, is going to come up in the, the near future. So I, therefore I don't concern myself about it. All we do is, um, you know, we, he, I think he's talked about it. Who wouldn't want Latrell? Like... Honestly, like that's a, a really easy answer for any club. Um, 
but I also know we create an environment for him to thrive and 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 support him well and and he loves being here and in the area so you know that's all that's our focus I'm not going to focus on speculation because you know obviously people are going to be interested if if they if if you ask them Victor Adler mate what did you make of uh, yeah, he's average tonight. Yep. Yeah, he's uh, he can get better. Definitely, he'll know that. I thought he. Uh, yeah, I think think he, uh, he he will get some improvement next week. Brett um, Brett Morris and Ryan Paul are they back next week? No, nah. no, nah, they won't. They won't be back yet. It'd be nice to get Ryan out on the field. I think he'll um, start. Yeah, in reserve grade, I think our North Sydney have got a buy next weekend, which doesn't align. But it'd be, it, I can't wait to get Ryan back out there, and um, Brett's a couple of weeks away.